And now we move forward in the same weight class. Armenia against uh, Georgia, the Armenian in red uniform, the Georgian in blue. of them controlling the position. They're very left. The Armenian is, um, is trying to be the aggressor, but the Georgian breaches very, very quickly and gets uh, the lapel and uh, the collar grip. This is how he fights. He tries to grind his opponent here. Um, he tries to tire his opponent. The Armenia is, uh, is accustomed with this fight, uh, type of fighting. Georgian um, somehow succeeded to to impose his will, succeeded to um, to stay very close and to to control the lapel and um, the collar. For, uh, for their grips, but the Georgian has longer hands and he, uh, he always succeeds to, to get to the lapel first. The, the Armenian needs to, to defend that, that attack. Now he tries to, now he tries to throw from uh, the grip that he has. It doesn't quite look like the best grip. for the Armenian, he does the same thing. Uh, he cannot break his opponent's grips, and this is why he tries to uh, to grab his uh, his sleeves 
elbow level in order to show and look at him right now he doesn't want to, to engage with his opponent uh, with his opponent's grips he tries to uh, to block that and to and to control it tries to get uh, to the belt tries to control uh, one hand and the belt and the Georgian is just uh, lashing out getting his grip getting his uh, over grip and his uh, sleeve grip seconds left and the Georgian will try to force right now he'll try to yes he wanted to, to sweep to sweep the outside leg it didn't work for him they end up on the ground Uh, the decision David Grigorian moves forward it was a very very difficult fight for him but somehow he succeeded to survive and he succeeded to uh, to control his opponent